Is he okay? It is breathing. We should be hesitant to ascribe deterministic gender terms to fishy here. Their race may not even have gender, biologically or culturally. Oh, sorry, yes. Sorry, Fishy. It just feels unfair saying it. Perhaps when Fishy wakes up, we'll be able to exchange theories about the formation of gender identity and its sociological impact. No doubt it'd give us some fascinating insights into the anthropological and biological imperatives of their society. But is... are they gonna be okay? Let me see. Essential life signs seem stable. Surface moisture looks acceptable. Keep an eye on them. If they look to be drying out, give them a spritz. And what do we do next? Just let me think for a minute. Should I go get more help? Let's not be hasty about telling anyone else yet. There are all kinds of ways someone, namely Allwater, could get this all so very wrong. Makes sense. There would be so many questions. You'd never be able to concentrate. Exactly. All those things will get in the way of us taking good care of this. Yes. Yes, and when they wake up, it's all going to feel pretty scary. We'll do what we can do. We just need to keep them safe until I can finish conducting the tests. I mean, you know, health tests. What about keeping them secret in the storage room? I could keep the boxes in my room. Hmm. Yes. Proximity to the lab. Humid environment. No other access. Yes, that should be suitable. Good idea. Let's move them in there. Gosh, I'm no expert, but they look really poorly. Don't worry, Harold. You did well to bring them to me promptly. They're in the right hands. Now, let me concentrate. Okay, I'll get to clearing up the storage room. Okay, think I'm done with the box room. Wait, let's move them in there. Harold, can you get that? Hold it up and put it on speakerphone for me. Will do. Enjoy your new home, Fishy. This is Moreau. No, it's Cyrus. What? 
Cyrus, I'm Marrow. Yes, I was trying to call you. You've succeeded, perhaps unfortunately. Yes, well, just for once, listen to what I have to say. I'm listening. Good. You sound faint, though. Am I on speakerphone? Yes, I don't have time to stand still every time you need me, Cyrus. What is it? So, Slippy is here. One moment I was all alone working on the hydrofusion coefficient machinations and thinking how interesting it was that... Sai, I really do hate to interrupt you, but not as much as I hate not interrupting you. You were saying about Slippy? Yes, well, the next moment he was here. He's rootling around, asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Can't you come and, I don't know, scare him off? I'll see what I can do. Give me five minutes. Okay. See you soon, I guess. Thanks. What was that? Nothing. Bye. Hmm. Harold, as you've heard, I've got to go and babysit. I've taken a blood sample from Fishy. Can you rush it to the pharmacy? Get it analyzed, then get some suitable transfusion based on the results. Can do. I'll go right away. Is it looking okay for now? Just fine. It's stable, and hopefully the results will help us with the missing pieces of this little fishy puzzle. I hope so. Thanks, Professor. Good luck. The all-water tube route to the utility district has now reopened. And perfectly on schedule, we might add. The all-water tube route to the social district has reopened. Please do not all try to go at once. Thank you for your understanding. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Welcome to Water Wieners! I bet you've never seen a meaner wiener. Hello there. No, I haven't. They look great. How long have you been here? Oh, I'm not sure. I just live for the day. But I'm here now, after a long tour of all the culinary innovation the Fedora has to offer. Oh, cool. So what made you decide on wieners? An astute question, my curious Epicurean friend. I have concluded that wieners and their accompanying toppings and trimmings are the most perfect balance between taste, convenience, and nutrition. Oh, wow. Okay. By the way, you look familiar. Are you related to the Allwater Secretaries by any chance? By blood, yes. That's about where the relation ends. So, which wiener will you be wanting? Hiya, Tommy. How's it hanging, Harry? I was wondering about your work relationship with Filter Frankie. Oh, that? That little thing? It's nothing. Just a professional arrangement. He trusts me because... I mean, I don't actually even know if it's a he. I'm the right store for his produce, you know? Very paranoid fella. Or lady. I just give him a cut of any sales of things he finds in the filter that I'm able to polish up and sell on somehow. What's the story behind this? Ah, now this was a little something my grandma, who was a machine engineer, made a whole bunch of in her spare time. They look like puzzles, but you can't actually solve them, so they're just like little brass philosophy ornaments. How's family life working out? It's amazing. 
Felix is growing up to be nice and strong-willed, strong imagination. I always try and remember to tell him that that's a good thing, even if it gets him in trouble at school. I never did great at school, and look at me now. I'm married to a woman like Bridget. What was life like before Bridget and Felix? I had much more hair. Wish I could blame it falling out on the boy, but I think all my hair energy just went to my mustache. And my legs. Anyway, I was way more of a hoarder. But I was great at telling stories about all that stuff, too. People loved Tommy's show-and-tell time. It's what convinced me to get into the general store business. It was hard actually letting the stuff I'd collected go at first, though. Oh, I see. That's funny. Makes sense, though. Ha! You've reminded me! It was on a foraging mission for new stock that I first ran into Bridget. It's a good thing I worked in the shop already, so she never realized how much I loved hoarding stuff. I'll let you get back to it, Tommy. Take it easy, Harry. Captain at Large Zoya? Oh, hi, Harold. You know, you can just call me Zoya, or Zoe. No point in the captain bit anymore. Oh, what do you mean? Huh? Well, you know what they say about a captain going down with his ship? Who said that? Well, I don't know. But I read it somewhere. That sounds like a sad story. Yeah. Well, it is. But mine is sadder. I didn't even get to go down. I was born destined to be a captain of a ship that was already down. But Allwater mentioned some kind of research going on about a relaunch, right? And the ship needs running in general. Sure. But all water takes care of that just fine without me. Hmm. Look, I, I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. Uh, at least I assume that's what you're trying to do. But could you just leave me be? I'm chasing a new high score on this. It's the one thing I'm good at. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. Hey, Rafi. Hmm. What are you up to today? Lots. Very busy. Too busy to chit-chat. Hi. Your first time at Quick Soup Colorfish? Yes. Hi. What's a good option? All is good option. All fluids of incredible health and delightful spirits. Also quick and colorful. And fishy? Usually. Sounds great. I was just swinging by. I'll try something soon, though.
Hello again. Can you believe this? Kala soup and the water wieners moving in on my t t t turf. But you're still the only fish experts, right? Yeah, but still, people only have so much space in their belly, and now they have all this choice. Yeah, why couldn't they do their thing somewhere else? And surely there's enough demand for a couple more restaurants here. Eh, hey, hey, maybe. We'll see. Hi there, Mr. Seventeen. How's it going? Fine and dandy, thanks. Not a care in the world. Not even about Warren being back? Nope. Absolutely least of all about Warren being back. Great. But if he expects to just waltz back into our lives after being away so long... Maybe he's as nervous about seeing you all again as you are. Not nervous. Not a care. Just like I said. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Hey, Mr. Eight. How are you feeling now that Warren is back? Fine. We knew he'd get bored of his gallivanting around eventually. I just hope he's learned a bit more responsibility along the way. Well, he seems to have his own business now. A mobile wieners restaurant. Yes, business. Still, I suppose maybe he is starting to settle down, even if he does have to carry his business with him. Do you think you'll go see him? Hectic schedule, you know. Perhaps I'll see him around. Oh, okay. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Mr. 24, me again. Mr. Halibut, please take a seat. Oh, thank you, but I'm not stopping. A not inconsiderable mercy. I, uh, I just wanted to make sure you knew that Warren is back around. I have been informed, yes. And how do you feel about it? As you can see, I'm on duty, and it is not therefore appropriate to feel anything about or to discuss said non-existent feelings about personal matters, I'm afraid. Oh, fair enough. I hope when you're done for the day, you can look forward to seeing him again. Thank you for your concern, Mr. Halibut. I will bear it in mind during my evening personal feeling evaluation session. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. All water. Moving people every day.
We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Hey, Warren. At your service. I hope you don't mind, but I spoke to your secretary brothers and I was curious about how you felt about it all. Ah, those sticks in the mud. I can imagine what they said. But there's no bad omelette where I'm concerned. Sure, I was the, uh, how do you say? The even one out? Ah, like odd, but even, because I was the fourth. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, okay. But, you know, I don't understand the whole feud thing. I can't even remember when it really started. It's a trifle annoying, but soon as they're ready to relax a bit, they know where I am. Oh, Captain at Large. I mean, Zoya, hello. Hey, what's up, Harold? You having a great day? Oh, uh, it's not at all bad, thank you. Are, are you? Heck yes! Just swell. But it's, it's just, you seemed so sad earlier. Oh, that? <laughs> that was just a little slump. I'm over it. That's good. I... Yep, yeah, I'm over the whole thing, you know? Life's too short, right? No one needs me as captain, so I'm just going to enjoy life. Do what I want. I suppose that's fair enough. What will you do instead? Who cares, right? <laughs> I suppose so. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you're feeling better. See you when I see you, Harold. I'll just be doing my thing. Water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. for your contaminant inspection. I'm sure you two will figure it out together. Play nice. Ah, oh, Harold, what are you doing here? Just walking by. What's up? I was just leaving Slippy and Cyrus to get on with things. Shouldn't you be looking after Fishy? Am doing. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, thanks. Always nice to see you too, Sai. So nice, because you've got a solution to fix the 3D printer at last. Oh, but I thought... 3D printer problems, eh? Let's slip by and take a look. Oh, if you're sure, Slippy. I'd be shocked if a man like you can't figure out what's wrong. Quite so. I'm away with machines. They're just like winter sports, you know. Uh, go on? Well, electricity is like a skier. And it's all about helping it find the right route with the right equipment. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Ha! I mean, yeah, sure. I guess I like machines, but they don't like me, eh? Ha ha! 
Well, looks like it's working again. Thanks, Slip. We know who to call for next time. Everything going okay, Sai? Hmm, not swimmingly. I work best alone. Slippy getting you down? Something like that. At least he's gullible. I know the feeling. How's the actual plan? I need to concentrate on it, which I most definitely cannot do with Slippy around. There's something I'm missing. I, I just can't figure out what. And time is running out. If anyone can do it, you can, Sai. Thanks, Harold. Oh, we'll soon see. Say, Slip, what are you up to there? Oh, hey, Harold. Just working on a little something-something that all Water Corp asked yours truly to whip up. Is it a new ski machine? No, it's a relaunch procedure. Although the technology has plenty of parallels, I'm the station's foremost expert in ambient temperature manipulation and air particulate conditioning, after all. Probably the foremost expert in style, too. So, how will it work? In layman's terms, I'm gonna freeze the water directly under the fedora, the buoyant displacement force of which will shoot us up to the surface and provide a convenient launch platform. Hell, we might even have some time for ice skating. Wow, that sounds amazing. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks, Harold. Get hyped! Bridget, how's it all going? Hmm, I'm trying everything, but I still can't quite figure out what's causing it. Is it bad? It's not great. It's not going to cause any emergencies right now, but if it keeps getting worse, we might have to really tighten our energy belts. Energy belts sound cool. It doesn't seem to be the algae. Although, of course, so many variables are different now to when the ship was flying. I've tried statistical multiplexing and all sorts of rubber banding, but... If anyone can figure this out, it's you. Nah, Thanks, Harold. style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. And now presenting Yava Pelletier and her poem Dark Silent Ship. Take it away, Yava! Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Tinnabom. Ahem. <clears throat> what is the dark and silent ship? That being nowhere neither comes nor goes. That being never has no real time, of which we can only say that it flows. How is it that this empty data stream, this cache of dead light, could so lose its way? It wandered back to feed on its own dream. How did that dream grow to the waking day? What is the sound that fades up from the hiss? Like a glass some random downdraught had set ringing. Now full of its only note, its lonely call, drawing on its song to keep it singing. When will the air stop breathing? Will it all come to nothing if nothing came to this? Yo, here is the truth. Don't get it twisted. All water be stealing time, and we missed it. Dig it. Are we home or in prison? We got the water, but we don't got the vision. Tube, ship, nowhere, age, youth, take off. Yo! Keep the light alive. Keep on trying to thrive. You dig? Thank you. <clears throat>
Hello there. Oh, well, hello. You enjoying the show? I most certainly am. I'll enjoy it all the more when my girl performs hers. Oh, that's great. You're a parent. What's her poem about? Oh, <laughs> I believe it will speak for itself. I don't like to brag, but she's rather precocious and... Hang on, are you not a parent? Me? <laughs> no, I'm just here to listen. Is that quite so? Are you some kind of bohemian poetry lover, perhaps? Or rather, a shabby-looking teacher I've not met before? Me? No, I'm just a handyman, kind of wandered by. A handyman with no professed love for the poetic art, idly watching children perform. And making small talk with the parents, then, hmm? Yes, that's about right. Oh, dear. I do apologize, but would you... Would you wander away? I'm not sure quite how proper it is for me to continue associating with you. Oh, no, it's... Hmm. Okay, I understand. I hope you enjoy your daughter's poem. Yes, er, you too. Bye now! To the beat of the tides of my heart. Where do the tides of my heart lead to? In the dead of night. In the life of day. They lead beyond the veil of seeing. To the dark depths beyond being. And there we will find, together or apart, whatever is found by the tides of my heart. Whither and thither I go like an underwater question that nobody knows. But the answer is there. If you really look hard, it's in the... Uh, let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Uh. <coughs> but the answer is there. If you really look hard. Wait. It's in the... Oh. Let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Uh, no. I... Hang on. I'd better start from the start. The last line doesn't have the same effect otherwise. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Please be upstanding or seated, whatever you're most comfy with, for my poem entitled The Tides of My Heart. <clears throat> they ebb and flow. Where do they go? The toads of my heart. Oh, ha. <laughs> Sorry, made a mistake. And no, this isn't part of the poem. Um, I'll start again. They ebb and flow. Where do they go? The tides of my heart. Pulled by the moon, we never can see. Catching up all manner of fishy debris. The tides of my heart. Surrender yourself to the tides of my heart. Let them drag you under, ever deeper. I am your dream. You be the sleeper, all of us dancing together to the beat of the tides of my heart. Where do the tides of my heart lead to? In the dead of night, in the life of day. They lead beyond the veil of seeing to the dark depths beyond being and there we will find together or apart whatever is found by the tides of my heart whither 
and thither I go like an underwater question that nobody knows. But the answer is there, if you really look hard. It's in the... Hey, Chris. Ah, Harold. Didn't know you were into this sort of thing. <laughs> Me either. But here I am. Well, what do you think? It's great. Very, uh, moving. And they really look like they're having fun. Yes! I think it's an excellent expression of their young, curious minds. Sharing their hopes, dreams, and fears in expressive verses like this. It just warms my little toes to see. Aww. So, you have a favorite so far? All my students are equal in my eyes, Harold. Like they were my own children. Ah, uh, no, I meant a poem? Oh! <laughs> yes, well, truth be told, it's all Algarabia to me. What does that mean? Well, indeed. What does any of it mean? No, I mean... Never mind. Where do they go? The toads of my heart. Oh, oh Eve, hey, what do you think of... Shh! This isn't part Sorry. of the poem. Um... I'll start again. They ebb and flow. Hi there. Oh, hi there. I'm Fern. I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Do you have a kid performing a poem? What? <laughs> no, no kids for me. <laughs> I'm here in my official capacity as a talent scout, man. Oh, so what kind of talent are you scouting for exactly? <laughs> I see hidden talents in many places, man. Maybe I'll get one of those kiddos to write some boss verse for one of the papers. Or sign one as an actor. I got clients all over, man. You got your eye on anyone already? Sure. But uh, I don't want to reveal the hidden talents to the whole world, right? Do myself out of a job. <laughs> My heart you understand, right? No hard feelings? I think I do. And yeah, no hard feelings. Don't worry. I'll let you get back to scouting. Thanks, man. <laughs> Enjoy the show. And when you see one of these kiddos go on to great things, you'll be able to say you met the man who made it happen. Whatever is found by the tides of my heart. Whither and thither I go like an underwater question that nobody knows. But the answer is there. Ah, Corporal Flounder. What am I going to do with you, eh? No one can ever know about you. You're a living, floundering breach of all the rules in the book. My book, I might add. Oh, the things I do for you. Anyway, Chapter 3, The Merry Band. It was a dark and stormy night when the four intrepid explorers left the fedora in search of the riches that would make their name. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, uh, hi, Major. It's me, Harold. What in the blue blazes are you doing here, boy? I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just passing. Thought I heard... but then... Well, whatever you heard, or most definitely didn't hear, if you get my drift, is your invasion of my privacy. So perhaps we should just both forget this whole messy incident ever happened, hmm? Oh, yes. Of course, Major. I understand. Good. Let me write you a ticket as a reminder. Oh, okay. Very good. Now, if you'll excuse us, I mean, me. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la. 
bloody lululululu. It's the Tannoy guy. All water. Water. Woogan. Woo 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 wa water. Oh gosh, I should probably just leave, let him talk to himself in private. Hmm. Did I hear something outside? Hello? Anyone out there? It's okay, you know. I have an open door policy. Well, the front door. Not this one. <laughs> uh, hello? I'm Harold. I was just passing and noticed the open door. I just wanted to check. Welcome. This is a bathroom announcement. I'm still in the shower, but please deposit your bum on the nearest available seat station. Make yourself at home. This is Radio Fedora, coming to you from the shower. This just in, I am the voice inside your head. <laughs> Ooh, rubber dub dub. So, uh, you get many visitors? Oh, sure. I have quite a few fans of my voice, actually. I'm always happy for them to swing by and have a listen to some behind the scenes chat. Do you think you'll always be the PA announcer? Ah, interesting question. Well, if I were to ever <laughs> announce my retirement, I think it would be nice to do something a bit more hands-on, you know? Maybe some voice coaching or learn guitar work to go with my singing. Ooh, perhaps Entertainment Onat and I could start a band. Can I ask a question? Sure, go ahead. What do you think is my best announcement? I know there's a lot of classics, but if you had to pick just one... Gosh, um, I always like the Thursday greetings. Ah, yes. I write those myself, you know. Wow, that's really great. Keep them up. Ooh, I will. Thank you, but I'd better be going now. Okay, you'll be hearing from me. Ha ha ha! By the moon, we never can see. Is she debris? The tides of my heart. Surrender yourself to the tides of my heart. Let them drag you under, ever deeper. I am your dream. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all-water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Um, Harold? Oh, hi, Zoya. How are you enjoying your new freedom? Yeah, so... about that. After I told you who cares earlier, you know, uh, I started to feel guilty. I do care, actually. I just wish I didn't care so much. Caring is good. You have to care about something. I wish I cared more about things sometimes. I just want to do a good job. But I don't know what that is. I know what you mean. I know what my job is, but actually, I don't always know what it really means to do it well. So, I'm going to try and figure out how I can be useful. Okay, me too. Oh, thanks for listening, Harold. It felt good to get that off my chest. Uh, same here. Huh? Get what off your chest? What I... the same as... Uh, don't worry, Zoya. I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. Oh, okay. I best be off. Places to be. Destination decided. 
Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Hi there, buddy. Hey, buddy. How's the male life treating you? Oh, it's great. Can't complain. But, you know, not quite as spry as I used to be. Oh, is everything okay? Thank you for asking, Harold. I mustn't grumble. Plenty have it worse. What have you been up to today? Just trying to make myself useful. How about you? No deliveries today? Nope. I'm all caught up. So... I'm spending a little time with my treasure trove. Oh, what kind of treasure? Ah, old undelivered letters. Just looking at them makes me feel giddy. But why couldn't you deliver them? Oh, oh. <laughs> believe me, I tried. There's this archaic little Fedora mail delivery protocol stating that mail may only be handed over if the addressee takes receipt in person. And if the addressee is not present, they must collect the mail from the post office within a 12-day span. So, couldn't you leave them a note? <laughs> I thought of that, but a reminder slip is technically classified as mail, and therefore must also be delivered in person. So, this is mail that you couldn't remind people about within 12 days of the first delivery? Almost. You see... For the postman to attempt in-person receipt of a reminder slip, they must also have new additional mail to deliver to the same recipient, else Article 27B-6 classifies it as a personal interruption of duty and is therefore forbidden while that postman holds his office. But couldn't you deliver the reminder slip after your working hours? You see, I considered that. But Appendix 11 Star states that information gleaned by a postman on duty must never be used for personal gain. And so, technically, once I'm off duty, I'm not supposed to even know that I want to deliver a reminder slip. Oh. So, while I occupy this hallowed office, it would breach regulations for me to deliver them. Or to think too much about them. Even on a personal level. So... There they sit. But it makes me sad, thinking about all those messages going undelivered. Even reading them is forbidden under sub-article 7N. Oh. Now that I think about it, related to 7N is the footnote addendum 7N3 degrees, which states, if I remember correctly, that such mail can be read, but only in the presence of another all-water employee. Oh, great. Moreau doesn't think of herself as one, but she's an all-water employee. You could ask her. Or, since you are her assistant, you're technically an employee as well. So why don't you come in here? I'll open the door. It's the one on your right. And let's finally take a little look at these forbidden fruits, shall we? Oh, okay. I'll take a look for sure. And um, by gum, it'll be good to finally get them home. Sonny's here. Hi, Sonny. Harold! Well, hello, it's been a while. So how's life after Sonny? What have you got for me? Oh, it's, uh, different. But okay. Uh, same old. Just as you... Uh, just, 
and just this, can you run an analysis? I mean, an, an, an analysis. <laughs> Same old Harold. Sure thing. Hand it over and I'll take it for a ride in the QT. The, the what now? The QT. The quick test, silly. Uh, yeah. So, you still hanging out with my dad? Yeah, sometimes. Same old Cyrus, huh? Reckon the QT will be much longer? It only takes a minute. How long has it been? Like a few seconds at the most. Anyway, don't you have something you want to ask me? Um, okay. What have you been up to since then? Oh, I must stop you there, Harold. Looks like the cutie's all done. Let me just see... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm sure it's nothing. Really, just... I'll be going. Hey, not so fast, Sonny Jim. This sample has definitely been taken from something odd, cool, or on a very radical cocktail of drugs. Spill the beans. I really can't. I have to get back. <laughs> to your new alien friend? What? No, <laughs> nothing like that. Just uh, an experimental fish. Cyrus. Cyrus made a new fish. But it lost some blood when uh, it accidentally got its fin trapped in a filter. Ah, oh, Dad is always so boring about hybridization theory. I don't even want to know. So, you need an aquatic craniate blood replacement, huh? Yes, exactly. It's a valuable specimen. And it was kind of my fault. I'm thinking a solution of granulocytes and sodium chloride rich plasma should do the trick. I think we've got some left in the cooler. Yep, here we go. Thank you, Sonny. No worries. Peace. Uh, hello? What's the password? Let me in? Bad luck. No dice. Don't bother us again. Uh, hello? What's the password? Swordfish. Bad luck. No dice. Don't bother us again. What have we got here? Darling Arna, when the ship crashed, I half wondered if life as we knew it would collapse in on itself as well. It seemed like the pressure of the ocean surrounding us was pressing through the ship's hull through to my very soul. And I wondered how I, how any of us, would find a new way to keep going on, even though our home itself had entered stasis. Then I realized something. Maybe it was slowing down reconsidering my lot in life and on the ship, I realized that I loved you, that I want to love you. I know you will assure me I'm being foolish and that you want me to have full happiness and that said happiness couldn't possibly lie with you, but it does. Now more than ever, we must look within and I give thanks to whatever a celestial whim sent the fedora tumbling down for it has given rise to my understanding of what is really important. Arna, whether you love me back in the same way, just know I am, and will always be, happy to love you. Forever, you know who. Wow, whoever wrote that experience, the crash. They sure did, lived and loved through it. Do you think they ended up telling Arna in person? I hope so. I feel like a love that 
clear would have shined out in person. Mm. Maybe they couldn't find the words in person, though. Hence the letter. Perhaps. But something tells me that Anna had someone that loved her unconditionally. So either way, she was a lucky girl. Buddy? Didn't you live through the crash, too? Sure did, bucko. Hell of a thing. Whoever wrote that love-struck letter was right. Everyone certainly had to readjust. I guess that's when I really grew up and started being interested in people, not just... Uh... Not just... Ah, uh, nothing I want to burden you with. Oh, okay. Tell you what, though. Why don't you come back tomorrow and we can see what else is in here? Okay, sure. That sounds fun. Laters, buddy. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Bon appetito. Ah, Harold. I'm glad I saw you. Oh, what's up? Look, I just wanted to say thank you for helping me realize something. That's okay, really. But what did I help you realize? And how? Well, I've been doing some soul searching. What I realize is this is going to be a long process. Whether take off again or not, I've got to come to terms with what I want as much as what I think other people want me to be. That sounds wise, nice. But how did I help? I guess you were just there. There aren't many people I can talk to without feeling inferior. Oh, thanks. Ha, <laughs> no, I, I didn't mean like that. You just, you're not a Jimmy Judger, you know? You seem to just accept. Hmm, I try. So now, just accept my thanks. And good luck with your own search. Oh, you did hear that. Yeah. We'll both get it figured out one of these days, eh? I hope so. Well, enjoy your meal. Be seeing you. Mr. Seventeen? Mr. Halibut? Anyone been lucky with the raffle recently? Not recently. It's a real hoot, though, when someone does win. The excitement as they go away to look through the access forum to correlate their winning ticket to the reward is palpable. 
I'll be going. Thanks, Mr. Seventeen. Always a pleasure. Mr. Seventeen? Mr. Halibut? What are some of the other prizes, then? Oh, okay. You've twisted my arm. One of my favorite prizes is a sign. See, strike. I'll be going. Thanks, Mr. Seventeen. Always a pleasure. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Ugh, more graffiti. With great power comes great responsibility. Huh? Makes sense, I suppose. But I wish they'd think of who has responsibility for cleaning. It's taking me great power to get it off. Okay, let's get you rehydrated. Ah, oh, fishy. Sunny is so tiring. Why does she need to know everything? And why does she make it so hard to answer? I should just ignore her. Or make stuff up. She's so clever, but she doesn't really listen anyway. Does she even care what I've been doing? I know. I'll bombard her with questions. She won't expect that. I'll ask her what she really found out after years of traveling. Or I'll ask her what she ever saw in me. Or I'll ask her whether she's finally impressed now that I've discovered a new species. Well, maybe not that. Anyway, enough about me. How are you doing? How are you finding that new blood? Too bad you can't tell me. But by tomorrow morning we should know. Right. Time to get some sleep. Night, Fishy. What a day. I can't believe this is happening. And to me. Tomorrow, I'll get those antibiotics and I won't let Sonny get to me. Right. Night, night, Harold. Night, Fishy.
Hello again, my alien fish butt. Let's see how you're doing. Uh oh Not so good, huh? You're starting to run a temperature. Maybe the solution was wrong. Or something is infected? Or maybe you need some special kind of fishy food. I'm guessing the stuff Cyrus makes isn't gonna work on you. If this temperature keeps up, I'm gonna need to... Drat! That means another trip to see Sunny and her questions. I promise you, I won't get so flustered by her this time, though. Stay calm, Harold. It's just Sunny. You don't have to worry about impressing her anymore. You see, Fishy? I'm okay, aren't I? You're a good listener. Maybe that's why. I wonder if you can hear me. Not that you'd understand me. Maybe the sound of my voice is calming. Or terrifying. Oh god, I hope I'm not freaking you out and you can't tell me to stop. Twitch if I'm freaking you out! Okay, good. Uh, off I go. compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Hi, Harold. Fancy sitting down to another letter together? Come in through the door. Shall we check out the next letter? Ready when you are. My little star, Adela. Sorry for not having delivered the following letter in time. I've enclosed the last remaining physical memento of your mother. It's not much, but I figure it's best you have it. Maybe you'll find some insight into your parents that will make you happy. Or give me less of a hard time. Dearest, I will be back soon, but in the meantime, the supply shuttle has promised to deliver you a little... Hello, wish you were here. I didn't have much time to write. They only brought me a new pen with supplies and going back fast. So please find enclosed some of my logbook entries. Made when I had the old pen. So you know what I've been getting up to and can imagine me better. Back soon. Can't wait to see your face. Be good. Day one. Touchdown. Planet atmosphere isn't great, but not too toxic. We're able to have brief periods with no helmet and equipment doesn't degrade too fast. First expedition tomorrow. Day two. Everywhere, this ankle-deep liquid. Rocky outcrops, the exception not norm, it seems. 
built out temp quarters on little stilts. It's a great color. Has this rippling sheen like an oil slick, but smells of something like pleasant soap. Not a lot else to see, to be honest. Looking forward to a proper bath already. Day four. Quasi-climate seems to have enabled multitude of tiny life forms inhabiting this shallow permapuddle. You can't really see them, but they give the surface of the water this impression of physic. Missing B already. Sure he's enjoying the chance to sit around in underwear and not shave. Lonely here during the long nights. Have intense craving to finish that puzzle we started. B better not have finished it while I'm gone. Amazing. She was on a planetary expedition? Yep. There was only a couple in my time on the move, but apparently they were more common before I was born. Trying to find a new Earth? Yeah, but mostly it was obvious it wasn't going to be. But every now and then, one would be worth checking out, in case we could learn or get some supplies from it. I'd always hoped to get to go on one. Oh, yeah. Must be cool to discover a new landscape. What would you do if you'd met an alien? <laughs> I would have made great friends with it, shared the secrets of humanity, and then challenged it to a race. Would you have told people about it? <sighs> I suppose so. Would have been a bit selfish of me to keep that kind of thing to myself. Even if... No, never mind. You know, being down here is kind of just like an extra-long exploration mission when you think about it. There might still be so much to learn down here. Ah, yes. Who knows? Chin up, Harold. I'm sure you'll discover plenty of excitement yet. Do you have time for another one? Of course. Right, next one. Let's have a look. Cease and desist. Date redacted. Certified by All Water Secretary 57. FAO, Ms. Nobblecorp. Subject, AWC file number 97-68-203-1. It has come to the attention of the All Water Department for unauthorized corporate activity that there has been unauthorized corporate activity concerning Ms. Nobblecorp. If that is your real name, resident at 72 Plaza Row, also known and potentially trading, also unauthorized as Mr. Prangifran, Dr. Comfort, and the like, concerning an unlicensed taxi service via Minisub. Despite your public adverts, which you will be contacted separately about, no doubt, by the All Water Department for Unauthorized Advertising Activity, claiming that your Minisub service is more comfortable, luxurious, and reliable than official AW tubes. Such a service is in fact unreliable and dangerous. Therefore, we must firstly insist you cease and desist all mini sub taxi operations. Secondly, you must apply for a permit to operate a mini sub, and a review of our files show that no permit has been issued or indeed applied for. Frankly, we do not see it as likely that you would be issued a permit if indeed you had, or if and when you do apply for one. This goes on for quite a lot longer. <laughs> Looks like old Nobbly Corb gave them the runaround. Must have been the wrong address. All water don't like people not following the rules, huh? No, sirree, they do not. But I bet you would never take one of those taxis. Nobble Corp sounds like a real renegade. Oh, you know me. I thought so. You're so disciplined and... But there may have been a couple of times, when I had a real short delivery window, or I just wanted a change of scenery. Wow, really? Just goes to show, people are always capable of surprising you. We might not always know why people do things, but they usually have their reasons. Noble Corp certainly did. Say, I haven't seen her for a while now that I think about it. So that was her real name? Oh, it was her favorite, at least. Just like I was her... Uh... Her what? Ah, um, nothing to trouble you with. Just getting lost in reminiscing. 
Anyway, let's call it a day. But come back if you want to keep going down memory lane. Okay, buddy. Be seeing you. Um, Sonny, I need some antibiotics. Uh, what for? Me? Oh, yes, your strange life form. How's the condition of it? Has it undergone any unexpected metamorphosis? Uh, um, not that I've noticed. It really is just a fish, and... Displays of aposmatism? Not lately. Sonny, I don't have long... C can you please just... I'm not just supposed to hand these out, you know. I know, but the professor, and it has a fever. Hmm, well, take these. They should reduce temperatures and fever symptoms. And I hope you get better soon. Not that you should be taking fish medication. I appreciate it. So, what are you reading? Oh, this? It's the new novel from Montmorency Spangler from the Physical Expression District. It's an allegorical treatise on the Fedoran post-scarcity politics. Is it good? You know, it's better than his last one. Oh, Harold, we should start a book club. Um, maybe? Anyway, I'd better get back. Yes, yes, do keep me posted, Harold. For old time's sake. Thanks, Sonny. I will. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Hi, Fishy. I've got something for that temperature of yours. Sticky situation you're in, huh? Let's hope these do the trick. You might be an alien, but how different can you be? Can't be as different as me and Sonny. <laughs> At least I managed to ask her a question or two this time. And I don't think she suspects that you're in anything more than a strange experiment of Cyrus's that I've somehow got involved with. I guess the fact that she doesn't trust me to do anything too exciting has come in handy for once. I'll check on you soon, pal. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Contaminant.
Thanks for swinging by, Harold. You remember the drill? Yep. What's the test we're doing this time? It's basically the same procedure as last time, but we're adding two new variables that Cyrus suggested, in the hopes they'll have a positive influence on the bacteria's energy output. Great. What were Cyrus's variables? Playing music to them and giving them some sugar. Before you say anything, I know, I know, but Cyrus has measured both as having positive effects on his herbs, so why not, eh? <laughs> this bacteria is lucky to get so many treats. Yes, well, I'm not sure they have much awareness of enjoyment, but fingers crossed. Oh, before I forget, there are two new buttons on the console. Got it. Ready when you are. Okay, start preparing everything like last time. We'll start with the sugar test. Chop it, coat it, and then put some sugar on it. I'll let you know once I'm ready. Nice one. Now on to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Now the sugar! Great, now for the next one, this time with music. Okay, great, on to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Now turn the music on. I did the thing. Knew I could count on you, Harold. We're all done. For now. Join me back in the control room and let's have a look at the results. Okay, are we all done? Yes, thank you so much, Harold. I mean, neither classical music or sugar or talking softly to the bacteria per Cyrus's plant-based advice helped its mitosis ratio, but it still helped me narrow down a few variables and factors. Ah, good. Glad I could help. You know, Harry, you've helped me a lot recently. Let me treat you to dinner. Ah, oh, it's okay. I just try to be helpful. No, I insist. How about some nice fusion food at that new place? Well, it would be nice to eat somewhere other than the fish, fish, fish hut for once. Okay, it's settled. I'll meet you there tomorrow evening. I'll ping you in exact time later. Great. Thanks, Bridget. See you then. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. How are you holding up, champ? Ah, same old, same old, you say? Well, hang in there. Anyway, good night. I'll be back to check on you in the morning. Don't go anywhere before then.
What a day. Poor fishy. They'll pull through, though. I know it. But does Sunny suspect? Probably not. She's too wrapped up in her own world and whatever crazy new idea she's reading about next. I'm cruising, very snoozing. change. I'm no expert, but I think they'd have kicked in by now. Like when I got so sick after secretly eating that filter fish. Ugh, those were bad times. Never been able to look at fish the same way again. Must be something else we can try. Should I ask Moreau? No, she's too busy. Sunny? Oh, fishy, can't you just get better right now so I don't have to go see her again? I mean, I will, for you. Traveling with all water. You're welcome. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Hey, Harold. Letter time again. Come and join me. You know where the door is. Yo, Viv. It's been like a month since we last rode. What's the haps? Maybe you forgot your state of mind now. Sorry I took a while, but you probably didn't. You seem the same as always, and being you, begrudge every minute of it. Don't. Learn to say F you to the world once in a while. You have every right. Just stop thinking so much. Thinking, worrying, wondering, doubting, fearing, hearing, hurting. Struggling, lazing, confusing, itching, bumbling, rambling, gambling, hitting, hating, and perching, besmirching. Overthinking and overanalyzing and overguessing separates the body from the mind, and you need them to be one and the same to really produce work that hits people in both. Do. Your work is great, man. You wrote drawing clean, clear, but crazy looking machines. Real nonsense stuff. Nonsense stuff is the best. More nonsense, more crazy, more machines, more clean, more clear. Double down on your Eunice and let you out on your page. Do. 
Just don't worry about it. If you want to take a month to write me back, that's fair enough. Tell me what you think of that poem I read you. Oh, and before I forget, Rook takes E5. Rook captures the piece on E5. Your move. Doingly yours, Saul. Oh, boy. So much wisdom. Those two must have been artists. I suppose so. I just feel bad for their chess match. You got anyone like that in your life, Harold? A friend you can yell at, encourage, really speak your mind to? Well... Come on now. You don't have to name names. I... maybe kinda? I don't know if they'd consider me a friend in the same way. It takes two to tango. Sure, but what if one of you can't dance? Can't dance? Or won't dance? It's more that, well, I feel responsible for them. And they don't talk about their feelings much. But I still feel like we really know each other somehow. Is that wrong? Ah, way I see it. You can't worry too much about what other people think. You can never know for sure. So, just be the best friend you can. Kind of like Sol said in the letter. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Thanks, buddy. What about you? Oh, not anymore. But that's okay. Everyone on the station is my friend in a way. Oh, yes. Everyone loves you, buddy. Oh, thanks, Harold. Think it's time for me to recharge my batteries. But you should come back tomorrow if you want. Okay, sure. Rest up. I'll see you soon. Hello again again. Hey, Sonny. Listen, those... Still struggling with your secret life form and or a bizarre personal health issue? Yeah, a bit. I mean, the life form. You know, Harold, there's no shame in admitting you need help. I mean, sometimes it's a spiritual illness. Sonny, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. But it's urgent. Didn't the antibiotics work? They didn't seem to. Nothing works like it should with this. Hmm, well, I'm not a doctor or a vet, but... There's one other thing we could try. Does your pet have antimicrobial proteins, any autoimmune disorders, or any kind of history of compromised transferring levels? Uh, it's hard to say. Harold, think. I can prescribe this floxifen, but it'll only work on a totally non-compromised immune system. I get it, but I want to try. It might help. Okay, are you sure you're sure? I mean, I also have isoderm, which is similar, but it's really dangerous to use on anything with high histamine levels. Ah, uh, um... Just take a minute to think carefully. I'd hate for anything to go wrong. Um, let's go with the floxifen. I'm sure it'll help. Okay, Harold. Here you go. Let me know how it all goes. Will do. Thanks again, Sonny. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest... Uh, and all water will make it up to you. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving?
Professor? Ah, Harold, just in time. Hold this, would you? Sure, but... Oh, what is that? It's just a swab. Samples are important. Important to us or them? One and the same. I know you're feeling protective of Fishy here, but the more we know, the better. Hmm. So what will that Fishy swab tell us? Understanding of their biology could shed light on our own human physiology. Advance philosophy. Tell us how alien life came to be. Oh, okay. That does sound kind of cool. I just hope it tells us how they're feeling, too. Knowledge is power, Harold. Keep an eye on them. I'll be back soon. Roger. Hey, Fishy. Moreau is a bit obsessed, but I'm sure she won't forget about making you better. And I'll be helping. For all the good that will do you. Hang in there, buddy. Okay, let's see if these help. The things I do for you, Mr. Fishy. Well, Sunny was confusing as ever. Do I miss her? No, not really, but you know, we had some good times. She taught me a few things. Oh, about life and stuff, I guess. And what culture is. Do you have someone special? Do your kind even have special people? I wonder if you all look the same. Or feel emotions. I wonder what it'd be like to not feel emotions. Harold! Huh? Oh, Professor! Oh, beeping! Professor! What are their vitals? Uh, very squiggly. I... What's happened here? Speak clearly now. I just... I'm sorry. The antibiotics weren't working, so I went to see Sunny, and she asked me a bunch of weird questions, and then gave me something else to try on them, and... What did she give you? It was... I think she said it was called Fluxiderm? Did she mention antimicrobial proteins or histamine levels? Yes, those things. Okay. Well, there's no such thing as Fluxiderm, but I think I know what we're dealing with. It was Floxa, or a germ, something. Oh, Harold, move. It's going to be okay. Just let me... Okay, they're going into anaphylactic shock. Harold, there should be some adrenaline on the shelf. Hand it to me quickly. Okay, this should stabilize them. Professor, Fishy, I'm so sorry. Harold... I know you were just trying to help, but Fishy isn't a duct or a filter you can just whack around until it works again. I know. I know. Look, you told me enough information for us to save them. No harm done, it seems. Fishy is stabilizing. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Professor. There's no point in beating yourself up, Harold. You live and learn. Go and settle your nerves. Yeah. Okay. I'll try. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. There you are. 
Look, I got us the best table in the house. Ah, oh, hey, Bridget. Thanks, it looks tasty here. Sit down, sit down, come on. What are you having? I hear the fish is very good. Which fish? Actually, I'm not sure I feel like fish anymore. Oh, you had a bad experience with it? Um, kind of. So, Harry, how's life been treating you? Uh, you know, keeping fishy. What? Uh, you know, keeping busy. Okay, that's good to know. Moreau treating you well? Sure, she's very Moreau. Yes, Thoreau should be her middle name. No, no, I said she's very Moreau, like, she doesn't change much. But that's nice, too. Ah, yes, I've always admired that about her. Does she have a real middle name? I don't think so. But when I was younger, I thought it was Jeanne and that her first name was Professor. Ha! <laughs> Adorable. Anyway, if you do ever want a change of pace, you can always come and work for me, you know? Like a little sabbatical. Oh, thank you. If I ever get the time, that'd be fun. You like algae, right? Is that on the menu here? No, at least I hope not. You know, actually, I did kind of make a mistake. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I mean that I did something dumb recently. Silly mistake, but it could have been really serious. We all make them, Harold. I mean, look at Felix. Um... Oh god, no, I, I don't mean he was a mistake. He's just a bit... wayward. But that's probably my... I mean, our fault. I just sometimes wish I could know more about stuff. Ah, knowing stuff is overrated. You think you know something, then it's wrong in another context. Or you realize you were looking at the wrong thing, and before you know it, you're an all-water energy consultant. But how often do you do things that could be dangerous? I work with energy, so all the time. But there's a difference between knowing loads and being wise. So being wise is... I think it's being kind and knowing what you don't know. And seeing deeper than just what something appears to be. Hmm. You know, everyone can make mistakes, but not everyone can learn from them. Thank you, Bridget. Gigantic energy implications if handled correctly. Exposed to the right level of radiation. Hmm. Or oh, heat activation potential. Hmm. Uh, Professor? Yes, Harold, yes. These glowing particles I swabbed from fish's skin might not be that spectacular on their own, but they do have their own kind of beauty. You see? Please slow down. I don't see it all. You will when you inspect them under a microscope. 
They seem to give off an inner light, and since I've been looking, it's not dimmed at all. So they're a light source? More than that. They might be our miracle, our only hope of relaunching on time. Whoa, so they're a power source. Quite so. Light is an energy, so I thought about testing their effect on our bacteria cultures. Watch this. Look, when the particles interact, the cultures undergo massive mitosis and give off enough radiation. Ah, it's growing. It's going to outgrow the dish. What if it never stops growing? <laughs> Not to worry, it does. And you can, uh, discourage the growth like so. Ah, whew. Okay, that's very cool, but isn't it dangerous? Only if someone much less meticulous than I tried the same little experiment wrong. Ha! <laughs> yes, you'd be chasing down rogue bacteria for hours. So keep this to yourself for now. You don't have to ask me twice. So, the particles clearly have fantastic proportional kinetic potential at even a moderate temperature. And crucially, their rate of radiation is highly regulated. Now we need to know more. Okay, well... Soon as Fishy is awake again, I'll ask. See that you do. Now, let's get over to the arcades. We don't want to miss the new start procedure presentation. Assembled Fedorans, it is my almost incalculable pleasure to introduce these two demonstrations today. Each will explore a different potential relaunch procedure in model form giving you all a realistic look at the science behind it all. Not that it will affect our decision on which to prioritize in any way, but please do cheer for your favorite. Without further ado, please welcome Cyrus, Soleil, and his representative computer model simulation of the factors involved in a relaunch to the stage. Okay, hi everyone, thanks uh, for coming, I mean, to watch this presentation. Uh, there's a lot of science, so I thought I'd just show you the computer model. <clears throat> so, uh, here it goes. This is not supposed to. Uh, but you see, in a way, this proves the importance of considering every angle. And with just a few calibrations, I'm sure. That's quite enough, Cyrus. Thank you. Moving swiftly on. Slipmeyer, will you please present Flo and Go to the audience, please? Absolutely, Madam CEO. Please witness the future of Fedora. A launch plan not just to the stars, but for the superstars you all are. The following presentation is brought to you by the Schipmeyer Foundation. Putting trust in humanity's dreams for hope. In partnership with All Water Corp, making life flow. And sponsored by Slippy's Winter Sports Goods. Chill times all year round. The Fedora, our home, trapped, together, all of us, underwater, but no more. It's time we grabbed Destiny with both hands and say, Destiny, meet Project Flow and Go. We begin by rolling up our sleeves for some good old fashioned hard work, starting with making the Fedora whole again. Once we're back in one piece, and good as new, apart from a few seaweed stains and a little rust, we'll utilize the awesome power of Slippy's patented aircon technology to freeze the ocean water around the base of the fedora. Why? Well, did you know ice is 9% denser than water? That's what makes those ice cubes float on the top of your soda. Are you catching on? 
here comes the kicker. The giant ice flow attached to the fedora will rise up from the depths and help us go back into the atmosphere. Once we're airborne again, we'll have to say goodbye to our flow, but we'll never forget it and reignite not just our thrusters, but also our hopes and dreams. The stars await. Let Slippies and the Fedora, powered by Slippies Aircon technology, take you there. Well, I think it's fair to say the people have spoken. But I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. I'm not convinced your uh, model is quite up to the rigorous standards we need. Slip Meyer's model shows a lot of vision and attention to detail. It didn't show any attention to detail that matters, just sparkles and... I think it's best we, um, put a freeze on your project, Cyrus. I'm sure you have much more important things to do for the station. No hard feelings, eh, Cryus? Mmm, no, it's... Wait, what did you call me? We all want what's best for the fedora, eh? Wish me luck! Hmm, something is afoot. Too many things that don't add up. And you know how I hate bad arithmetic. Right. Like why my model failed. And why all water went with a patently observed option. And why the tube fares keep going up. Yes, and why... Wait, Harold, I really don't think that part is connected. And why did they want us to keep going without letting us know about Slippy? Now that I think about it, there was something weird about his presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seemed even more infuriatingly self-important than ever. Okay, name-calling isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's look at the facts. There's the energy shortage that Bridget told me about. We know which star procedure is most popular, even though it'll never work. Oh, maybe they're planning on that. Hmm. Are you positing a secret all-water plan, shielded by a deliberately untenable public one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you mean Slippy's right? Yes, I mean Slippy's, but yours is clearly missing something too. I, I know, but the foundations are sound. I just need to pinpoint what went wrong. Did you double-check the velocity correction? Well, of course, but the power differential... Yes, yes, I know, but that doesn't mean anything without a variable energy diffusal. So you keep saying, but unless we run the model enough times, if I could just... All models are false, so... All very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on something. A waste of time without more information first. We'd be the blind leading the... Every new step opens up new vistas. What is that supposed to mean? That if we just start, we'll have more information with which to... I don't know why you're bringing philosophy into this. It's a matter for I... science. Hey, philosophy is a science of the mind. Well, do you mind focusing on the science of... <laughs> the variable energy diffusal, yes, yes, I know. Well, if you know, then why can't we model it first? But you said all models are wrong. Turn a phrase. Don't get caught up on semantics. Well, I wonder if my source data is erroneous. I'm sure I checked my calculations. You're blaming the source data now? I'm not blaming it. I'm accusing it. You'd know if you'd interrogated the velocity correction ranges. Of course, but the power differential... Yes, yes, I know. But that doesn't mean anything without a variable energy diffusal. So you keep saying, but unless we run the model enough times... All models are false, so... All very good and well to say, but we have to base our tests on something. A waste of time without more information first. We'd be the blind leading the... Every new step opens up new vistas. What is that supposed to mean? That if we just start, we'll have more information. I don't know why you're bringing philosophy into this. Ah! Who? What? Don't panic. I'm a friend. Well, friends shouldn't scare other friends. What's this all about? Can you go into the shower and close the door? This is a strictly off-the-record conversation. Okay, I'm in. What's happening here? Okay, okay. Listen. We need a man we can trust. Who is we? Oh, right. Yeah, the Lightkeepers. What? The Lightkeepers? 
Uh, yeah, that's us. Whoa. So how many of you are there? Well, it's just me in here. But, I mean, there are lots of Light Keepers. We are Legion. I'm one of them. An important one. Wow. So, how do you know you can trust me? I mean, you can, but how did you know that... I guess you have eyes and ears everywhere. Secret informants and... and... Yeah, all of that stuff. You can recommend it by a secret source. Right. Wow. Okay. So, what do you need? What we need is proof. All water are planning something. We know it. We just can't prove it yet. Yes. How can I get proof? I am not very actually a uh, detective. Actually? When? Oh, just listen. The shaft above here leads to the CEO's office. And we know there's going to be an important meeting happening there shortly. Ah, uh, yes. That shaft is freezing. Thanks to Slippy's new and improved AC. We know, but we planned around it. First, you'll need to procure a small camera. Our intel has narrowed the location of one down to Moreau's lab. You'll need to distract her, steal the camera, and make it back to us undetected. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. Good. Time is of the essence. Meet me back here as soon as you have the goods. Will do. How do you know about the meeting, by the way? A network of hidden informants? Ah, uh, no. We just snooped in the CEO's diary during one of our open-door policy days. Oh, okay. I suppose I'd better get to it. Godspeed, Slippery Fish. Wow, I get a call name? Yes, and good luck. Looking for something, Harold? Uh, um, uh, I am looking for the, you know, the little video camera. Ah, uh, yes, the Pentasonic Mark II. If you say so. Have you seen it? Of course I have. What you mean is, do I know where it is now? Yes. Do you? No. Ah, I really need a professor. I'm too busy to help you rummage around. Anyway, didn't you have it last? Oh, did I? I'll check in my room. I'm sure it's not in there, though. All models are full, so all very good and well to say, but we have to base our test. <laughs> Let's take a better look at this doodad. Oh, the camera. Excellent. On the science of yeah, the variable energy diffusion. Yes, yes, I know. No, then why can't we model it? Okay, here you go. Let's see. Yes. Perfect. Let me just make a few quick modifications. Uh, what's all this? Monocam. Huh? What's it going to do? Mobile secret reconnaissance, of course. Come on, let's get going. We don't want to miss anything important. Okay, so what should I do with it? Start by placing it in the shaft. Then you'll need to use the remote controls to navigate it to the CEO's office. Then you'll need to find a good view to record it all from, drive it back out of the shaft and into our welcoming arms, all in the name of truth. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. You don't want to drive? Uh, uh, I would, but uh, I'm not so good with remote spatial awareness, and, you know, someone like you has experience with control panels. Oh, well, if you're sure. Righto, Motocam. Let's take you for a drive.
Okay, Madam CEO, I'll be going now. Yes, I believe you shall. Godspeed, Schlipmeyer. Godspeed. Yes. Is that Dr. Computer? What? It's me, Castle Chop. The password. Oh, for goodness sake, must I? Okay, fine. It's Kutsu Hung Shiny Prize. I'm just calling to say you may commence stage D as discussed. Do you have everything you need? Very well. Keep me in the loop. Time is of the essence. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Goodbye, Doctor, and don't let me or the fedora down. Righto. Eight, R, three, N, N, four. Open. Oh, hello, my lovelies. Listen to your beautiful purring. So nearly a perfect harmony, but just missing that one last voice. I'll find you one eventually, wherever you are. Oh, wow. Oh, gee. What can you see? Don't shut me out here. I'll tell you later. You've got to get to the lab. Slippery fish, wait, what about the mission? Uh, wait, wait, what did you see? What is your heart? Professor, Psy! Oh, hey, Harold. What's got you more jumpy than a caffeinated frog, hmm? Wait till you see this. I'll just get it hooked up. Okay, I'm waiting. Phase D? Dr. Computer? This opens a whole box of questions. Uh, if you ask me, it's more of a parcel of intrigue. I wasn't and won't be asking you. Anyway... Only one thing is for certain in all this mess. We must continue with the alternative start sequence post-haste. How on Fedora did you get this, Harold? It's a long story, but it all started when I... I'm sure you were very heroic, but it can wait. We've got to act fast. And we should be careful who we trust. Quite so. In fact, Cyrus, I think you should continue your work in the small room downstairs. It's out of sight and should have what you need. Okay, the really small one? Don't whine. Anyway, I have to see Bridget to tell her about all of this. Harold, can you take the box of computer stuff downstairs for Cyrus? We'll do. Great. Okay, everyone, let's get on with it. equals x minus one. What about... But that would change the square of... Um, Psy? Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hmm. I've got this box of computer stuff for you. Oh. Uh, thanks, Harold. Uh, just put it on the table. Sure you don't need me to stick my screwdriver in anything? Hmm? What? No, no, I think it's fine. I was just... Remember when... Anyway, what are you working on? Well, this place isn't exactly my usual setup. I need to expand the filter station control system with these parts. Then I can run the tests I need and access the thrusters. Drat, this is going to be tricky. Different gens of Servotech. The old Fedora firewall's blocking me out so that the connections might not talk properly to each other. Oh no, that'd be lonely. Yeah. 
Reckon you could go ask Raffi if they can help open a few ports and maybe disable the firewall? I've not a moment to lose. Sure. What should I tell them? Just that I need their system protocol expertise. Appeal to their vanity? Can do. Back soon. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. You see the relaunch presentation, Lenzim? I did indeed, Alon. That slippy fellow is annoying, isn't he? Certainly is. Pretty shaky scientific principles, too, if you ask me. And what do you know about the scientific principles of a relaunch? Not a great deal, Zim. But I know when someone's talking the talk instead of walking the walk, if you catch me drift. That Cyrus chap didn't fare too well, though, did he? He walked the walk with no talk, then fell over anyway. That's right, Zim. But I liked him. Ernest. Cyrus, he was called. I know, Zim. I mean, he was sincere, though. I'm more inclined to trust a man like that. Well, doesn't seem like either of our options are much cop, eh? Not much cop at all. Still, be nice if it does happen. Change the scenery and all that. Seems like a lot of effort to swap the endless ocean for the endless ocean of stars to me, Alon. And what if we find a new planet to rest on, Zim? What if we don't, Alon? What if we don't, indeed? Well said, Alon. Well said. Fish, a majestic shoal. But what secret motivations do their movements reveal? Major? Um, <clears throat> yes, Harold, uh, what is it? Just passing through and thought I'd ask what you thought. You know, about the relaunch presentation. Yes, well, you know, I don't go in for that kind of thing. No, of course. Oh, what kind of thing? Conjecture. It's all a lot of hot air. But... Don't you think we need to relaunch? Perhaps. But we must retain order in the meantime. Getting too excitable isn't going to help anyone. I suppose. Anyway, I have observations to make. Okay, Major. See ya. Have you got any more gastro tips for me? Oh, have you checked out the Dolce de Leche empanadas at Dutchies? The filling is made from diced banana and yerba mate infused butterscotch. It's so sweet, you'll dream of rainbows for a week, but it's totally worth it. Rafi? What is it now? Cyrus needs help with some pretty important research. So I came to ask, is there any chance you could help disable a firewall for him? It's stopping him from accessing the systems he needs. For the research. Could you be any less specific? Uh, no, but... Of course. I know what you mean anyway. Oh, how... I mean, great. So you'll help? Afraid not. Any system Cyrus is struggling to access is old. That stuff isn't my responsibility anymore. I know, but it'd be a huge favor. Plus, messing with that might have knock-on effects. Might even mess with my cabinets here. Oh, I see. Well, um, any tips for doing it ourselves? Have you tried turning it on and off again? Oh, I'll suggest it. Thanks anyway, Rafi. So, 
Have you ever beaten Zoya's high score? <clears throat> no. I could if I wanted to, but I try and give people a chance. If you say so. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Laters. Tommy, hey. What's up, Harold? Not much. What's up with you? Not much. Just running a business, trying to be a good husband and a good father, keeping myself in shape, tidying the store, helping Felix with his homework. You know, not much. That sounds like much. What, that? That's an easy day, pal. I'm basically on holiday when it's just that much. Strange holiday, but I'm glad you're feeling relaxed. So come on, what's on your mind? It's... I was just thinking about those presentations. It all seemed a bit odd and not very reassuring, do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you one thing. Slippy might have confidence to spare, but if I know Bridget, she'll have a thing or two to say about the energy output needed for such a big freeze. Either way, it's worrisome. Enough for a drink, I think. What are you having? Yeah, I know what you mean. Care to join me? Uh, tempting. Thanks, but I'd better be going. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Inspecting. Procedure will begin in three. Oh, hey, Slippy. Ha ha ha! What is it? Uh, that you want, old chum? Is now a bad time? No! Like Marcus Aurelius said, treat whatever happens as wholly natural. Not novel or hard to deal with, but familiar and easily handled. Oh, interesting. So, did you need something? Not really, I just wanted to say well done on the presentation. Yes, well, that's to be expected, I suppose. But like Aristotle said, it is well to be up before daybreak, for such habits contribute to health, wealth, and wisdom. Nice. Kind of hard to imagine what daybreak must look like. Yes, well, I think the saying is more about, you know, having time to work. Oh, yes, I suppose so. So, if that's all... Yep. Bye, Slippy. Harold, hi. Oh, hello, you two. Moreau here was just telling me all about the plan. I mean, our plan, not Slippy's plan. You didn't like his plan either? He's got great presentation skills. I'll give him that. Yep, but I think it's got as much chance of working as I have of getting Felix to eat his greens. Have you tried disguising them? That's not a bad idea. Anyway, you, Moreau, and our actual plan have my full support. You can count on me. Okay, great. I'm sure between the three of us we'll have no problems. You charmer. Right, I'll get to it. See you, Harold. All 
water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Bird! Hang on. That's Zoya's bird. Good shot. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Now, do you have any idea what this feathery menace is doing here? He could have damaged all sorts of sensitive equipment. <sighs> yeah, I think I might have an idea. I'll deliver her back to her rightful owner. Okay, if you say so. Just see that she doesn't get loose in here again. Captain at Large Zoya? Hello again. Uh, Coco! Yeah, I found her in the lab. She seemed very excited about something. Is she okay? Yep, I think so. Moreau had to help me catch her, hence the net. Ah, oh, Coco, you mischievous little thing, you. Causing your captain to worry and making trouble for everyone. Don't ever change. Well, I'm glad you're back together. Thank you, Harold. If you ever want to come and visit, Please, feel free. You should see her peeling a nut. It's hilarious. And the way she dances when I put music on. Thanks, Soya. I might pop by another time. See you, Coco. Water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest and all water will make it up to you. Hey, Sai. Bad news. Rafi couldn't help. G good news! I got it working. How? Uh, yeah, typical, right after you left. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to message you. I got distracted verifying part one of my double checklist uh, by testing the velocity of a plant stock in a variety of energetic states while varying the atmospheric pressure. Harold? Mm hmm. Yes? Uh, thanks for asking him, though. That's okay. Good luck with the rest of the checklist. Yes, I'll get back to it.
destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Hey there, Tommy. Ah, oh, Harold, you came. Sit down, let me get you a drink. Thanks, Tommy. I'll have whatever you're having. A man of fine taste. So, how's life? Oh, uh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Definitely just the same as always. Okay, then. So, hey, I wanted to say about that blue rock. Ah, uh, it wasn't your fault, Tommy. I know, I know, but boy, did I feel like I had egg on my face. Those darn light keepers, eh? Always messing about in other people's business. Yeah, but I don't think they're so bad. I'm sorry they smashed your window, but they seem to have good stuff in mind. Well, you've got good stuff at heart, and you didn't need to break my window. But hey, what do I know? How is the shop going? Oh, uh, just fine. The sign has given things a bit of a boost, but new stock has been a bit slow. I'd love to scale back the time I spend there a bit, you know? Spend more time with Bridget, especially now she's working so much again. Yeah, it must be hard. Life has definitely become more busy recently. You got that right. It's good to have someone to talk to. Someone who doesn't mind my grouching. No way do I mind, Tommy. Grouch all you want. Thanks, Harold. I'll get back to grouching soon, but hey, how about you? Those filters keeping you on your toes? The filters? Why? Have you seen something? What? No, no reason at all. I got no special interest in the filters. Just making conversation. I haven't heard from Filter Frankie in a while. Guess he's taking it easy. Oh, sorry. Well, the filters are also totally normal, just like always. Okay, good. Well, here's to the filters, eh? Long may they remain at optimal capacity. Cheers. Cheers. So, come on. You must have something you want to grouch about. Well, sure, but I try not to, you know, focus on it. Come on, come on, it's your turn. Don't make me do all the grumbling. Okay. Well, the tube tickets are pretty annoying. The rules change faster than I can keep up. I swear they do it just to confuse you into making mistakes so they can fine you. And it's not like they work all the time anyway. So what are you paying for? I just wish it was easier to get around, you know, without worrying all the time. I think I should... I think I should get back home. Okay, Harold. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for sharing a few drinks with this old grumbler. Get home safe. What's up, Fishy? Long time no see, huh? Hope you're having fun, Fishy dreams. <gasps> did I just... Did I hear you just wheel? <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. God, of course they don't understand me. What can I use? A pineapple! A pineapple? Uh, no. 
What else? <laughs> Don't panic or die. Please. Just wait. Come on, Harold, think. What's on these papers? Ah, just Burroughs' notes. Nothing I can use. Harold, what are you dithering over? Awake! He said, we you. What? They're awake and attempted to communicate? Yes, I'm trying to tell them what's going on, but... They seem to have fainted again. Harold, you said they said we you. Anything else? And some skis? Skis? Pineapple? Notes? Professor, I've got it. Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Harold, are you feeling okay? Maybe it's something contagious after all. No, Moreau. I could use a picture book to talk to Wii U. I mean, communicate with Fishy. I'm sure Chris will have some at the school. Hmm. Not a bad idea at all, Harold. I'll fetch some recording equipment too, in the meantime. We're going to need plenty of samples if we're to decipher an alien tongue. What? You can't take their tongue? You klutz. I mean their language. Okay, but what if they wake up again? Life signs are stable, and I don't think they're going anywhere quite yet. Go on, go! Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Oh, Harold! What brings you here? Chris, I need some pictures. Uh... Of anything in particular? And you do know I'm not an art teacher. I just need a book. Uh, a kid's book, like Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Well, I'm glad you asked, Harold, but maybe you should be challenging yourself a bit. Ah, uh, yes, I will. But I just need to relax. Please, Chris. Hmm. Okay, Harold. I'll bring you one later tonight when I'm done. Ah, no, I really need it now. Harold, uh, are you okay? You seem so stressed. Maybe you do really need a nice book. Okay, I'll get you one now. But you'll have to watch the Bambinos while I'm gone, okay? Yes, sure. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Okay, okay. You sure you're okay, Harold? No, uh, whatever happens while I'm gone, just don't... Let them under your skin. Okay, Harold, must dash. Don't let them bully you. Chris, what? Wait. Ciao, Harold. Ciao, bambinos. Don't cause them any trouble, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, kids. Are you a teacher? Where's Mr. Tinnebaum gone? No, I don't know. I'm just doing Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnebaum, a favor. I have a question. I'm probably not qualified, but I'll do my best. Where did babies come from, Mr. Harold? Uh, just Harold is fine. And, um, they come from two people. Then who are my parents? What? No, I don't mean the two people disappear. They become your parents. So it could be any two people? I think it's like, uh, two people grow you, and they give you to whoever's assigned to be parents? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, the growing part, not, not the- When will I grow up, Mr. Harold? Felix, you'll grow up soon, but don't rush it. I, I mean, enjoy your youth while you- Why aren't you a teacher? Oh, uh, for many reasons, but mainly because- why does flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? If you're not a teacher, you're a stranger. 
and I've always been told not to talk to strangers. Is today's lesson going to pick up from Cartesian dualism or move straight into Neoplatonism? Everyone, please slow down. Okay, now, who wants to learn about filter maintenance? Here you go, Harold. Thanks for holding down the fort. Thank you. This will do great. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. No, no trouble at all. Great. Everyone say ciao to Mr. Halibut. Ciao, ciao Mr. Mr. Halibut. Halibut. Ciao, Mr. Halibut. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Hello? Ah, they've gone back to sleep. Okay. Just stay calm, Harold. Radiate calm. Show them the book. Show them you're friendly. Start teaching an alien how to speak my language. Fishy? Wake up. I'm back. Wake up. Professor, I'm sure I'm starting to understand. No need. The translation device is ready. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Does it work instantly? Will they understand exactly what I'm saying now? Oh. I can understand you. <gasps> I can understand you! Oh. So where am I? Good gosh, I'm glad you're okay. What are you? Oh, you're on board the Fedora? It's a ship. We're from Earth? Well, the ship is... Oh, sorry. Um, what's a ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're humans. Well, I see you're getting along just fine together. I've got some things I need to take care of urgently. I'll leave you two to it until I'm back. Play nice. I have so, so many, many questions. questions.
so, it's a community based around the energy-giving properties of the particles. Ah, Harold, join us. Hello, you two. Hello. Will you go on? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we get warmth in the air from them. And other things. Like food? Materials? And where do the particles come from? We aren't sure. There is a big glowing hole in the cave that feels very nice to be around, though. Harold, you didn't tell me this earlier. What? I... Oh, Moreau. I didn't really tell him. Not much changes back home. So I suppose no one thinks much about them. Oi vey, we need to see this hole. I'd love to see it too. But how do we get there? Hmm. By the way, Professor, did you tell Wii U what you told me about the particles? I did. I suppose I owe Wii U here a thank you. My pleasure. I accept. Uh, Wii U, it's more like she means... I mean, let's retire for tea. No great plan was ever made without it. Tea. Thank you. It smells great, like flowers. Yes, don't tell Cyrus. He's stressed enough as it is without worrying about me stealing from his herbarium. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to keep track of. Like, whatever is going on with all water. Well, we don't know for sure. Only that they're hedging their bets on the launch procedure, and the CEO is acting strangely indeed. Then there's the Light Keepers. What's their plan in all this? Who knows? I'm wary, but at least they seem invested in the truth. And that means for now, they're on our side, whoever they are. I guess so. Be nice if they stop with the graffiti, though. What's the latest with our start procedure, by the way? My, my. T does make you talkative. Cyrus is working hard. I'm sure he'll iron out the problems he's having. It's just whether he'll iron them out in time. How do you feel about all this, Wii U? Oh, great. So much is going on. It's very exciting. And how about you, Harold? I'm just relieved we could help Wii U. Yes, you two clearly have a special bond already. Uh, what is bond? It's something that keeps us close together. Oh, okay. Are you holding it? No, Wii U. It's an invisible, emotional thing. Great. Nice to carry. Wii U? Do you miss where you came from at all? Not really. I'll go back eventually, and that's okay. Well, I quite wondered if maybe you'd take Harold with you. Me? To the cave? Yes, to investigate the source of the particles. Of course, I want to go, but I can't just drop everything and people would notice me gone. But... me? And me. Don't worry, my boy. I'll be in close contact, and after all, haven't you been craving some adventure? Oh, sure, but what if I get the adventure wrong? You'll just be observing, taking readings, letting Wii U show you how things work. You trust him, right, Wii U? Sure. There'll be lots of Flumilim to meet. Plenty of Malgaraha to see. What are Flumilim? Oh, that's a hard one to translate. It means things you can talk to. Like everyone back at the cave. But I suppose it also means people like you. Oh, so it's the name for your kind? Well, it's all kinds. We've not needed any more detail before. And no one will mind if you don't call them Flumilim. Cool. It's just a bit confusing otherwise, don't, don't you think? <laughs> not for us. You all have so many classifications for everything. Even a person can be male or female. Now that's confusing. Huh. I suppose that's true. So, do you not have, uh, two kinds of person? Not like how you're thinking. Don't worry about it. Just call us friends. Or our names. Okay, we will do. Great, then it's settled. Will you? You'll take Harold to explore the cave and meet the rest of the Flumilim. I can't believe it's going to be me that sees it all for the first time. Yay. Oh, but I can swim. How will Howell come with me? Ah, just follow me. 
I have a little something to show you both. I'd like to introduce you both to Jetsum, a little hobby project of mine. Used to be a space buggy meant for short-range planetary surface analysis. And now, it will be your means of visiting a very different kind of world. It's amazing. I'll look after it, I promise. Now, before you go, I've uploaded new firmware to your PDA. Oh, what does it do? Well, I developed an update to the translation software based on your discussions with Wii U for use with the PDA, so you don't have to schlep that huge machine around. Oh, neat. I call it Omnicom. Also, you should both take one of these. Where does this go? In your ear. It's an earphone. It connects to the PDA, so you can have real-time translation. Plus, it allows me to stay in close contact with you. Very cool. And it'll work at long range? It should do. I developed a super efficient transmitter and new batteries for it all using some of Wii U particles. Glad to help. It'll mean that whatever happens, you can stay in contact with me in some shape or form. And Harold? Yes, Professor? Do not lose it. Unlike that toaster, these aren't easily replaced. I won't. I'll be careful about everything. That should be everything you need. Hop in. I'll be on the radio, and I'm sure you two will look after each other. We you. Let's go visit your home. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you two, and have fun. For me. We will. I think this panel shows... What happens if I push this? Whoa, too fast! This is fun! Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop swerving. Moreau will kill me if I dent her hobby project. Seems like you're making it swim calmly now. Yeah. Whew. Getting so less light. Less light means bad distance. It's called dark. And yeah, getting very hard to see. <laughs> I know. It's chilly. Say, how did you find your way to the fedora? Hmm, wasn't easy. Dark and chilly, don't like either. But once I had started, 
Just wanted to see what there was. Had to keep going. Next thing I knew, very light. Less chilly. Lots of owl. Then you, shouting at me. When you tell it like that, it doesn't sound like a great experience. Worth it. Well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Oh, everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. Glowing directions sound much more fun. So, you can direct me there? Yep, I can see the way clearly. And I'd better turn on the proximity sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, Wii U, you're the boss. Take us away. We're almost there now. Be careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Okay, I think I see it. Going to be a tight squeeze. <laughs> 